it's a disgrace it's really a disgrace why injustice is full of this world what's going on with this world why evil always win what the hell portugal 3 ghana 2 it's a disgrace but if you want to help me out give me some morale subscribe to the channel like the video comment down below share only one click away my friend and you all set life is not fair it's not anyways people i don't even know where to start with this game how the hell that was a penalty for cristiano ronaldo you know i i talked to some of my portuguese friends they said you know they would take it you know even now if i was them i was going to take it if you give me something like that but they said it was injustice because there's still some people who will tell you the truth no matter what you know i would take it but it's about cristiano ronaldo isn't it? you know it's about him scoring uh, in every World Cup that he's been in. It's about breaking record. It's about him. Even if they lost the game today and Cristiano Ronaldo scored that penalty, that was the most important thing today. It's about making headlines, selling newspapers, making money for FIFA and everybody around the world. So that penalty was going to happen no matter what. If it was any other player, no name players, goes down like that, it's not a penalty all day. The VAR refused even to check. And nobody, just, I'm not interested. I am more interested in this money-making machine, Mr. Ronaldo, to get his penalty score, headlines, we sell, everybody is happy, money in the pocket. That's it. Disgrace. Ghana being cheated. Clear. This is a cheat. It's a, it's a day light robbery. In the middle of the day. And they got away with it as per usual. And Cristiano Ronaldo is going to celebrate of course. He's going to sue no matter what. Because it's going to be all him. And his cultist are going to just say all the good things. <laughs> Oh man, this world. If you are popular and you make people money, that's what what count. Nothing else. You know? Cristiano Ronaldo will even sue against Ammonia or Sheriff scoring a penalty in Europa League. <laughs> he's gonna sue because he doesn't care. He doesn't look like he's a shame of anything. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna do my thing. It's gonna break the social media. That that's all I care. Anyways, let's. Oh my goodness me! Look at the two teams here. Right, Ghana almost got away with a point. And if that penalty didn't exist, who knows? They might have uh, won this game or something. Very very uh, stable Portuguese team. And I don't understand the first half. They were dead, kind of. Everything changed after that penalty. And Ayu, <laughs> he scored. He scored. After that, it was 1-1. And uh, the Ghana manager, Mr. Odo, made a very terrible subs. Immediately, not even a few seconds after he made those changes, took Ayu, who was a leader on the pitch. He took, uh, you know, key players from from the first team. I don't know if he was trying to to keep, uh, to, to get a draw or something. Immediately, a few seconds after that, they conceded the second goal. Joao Felix. And then the third, Liao. Yeah, some people will say, you know, offside or whatever and the VAR didn't care but you you are Ghana you're playing against Portugal so you know the decisions are gonna be against you so you don't wanna just like give them the opportunity to make those decisions 
and at the end, uh, Williams almost tricked uh, Costa and scored a third goal, but it wasn't meant to be. It was, oh my goodness, how, how? Anyways, people, let's go very quickly to the start because this is not like a normal review. I'm just so angry. 61% for, for Portugal, 39 for Ghana. Attempt, 11 against 8. Shot on target, 5 for Portugal, 3 for Ghana. And they scored 2. I like the guy uh, who celebrated, you know, Bukhari. So just to mock them just just for for the banter you know yeah the celebration was good but at the end of the day you have to win the game i loved also ghana's uh, fans there were, there were many of them in the stadium traveling from ghana to you know to qatar is not an easy task but yeah congratulations for fighting anyways you didn't win but maybe next time Oh my goodness me. Life is not fair, my friend. So let's see on the standing in this group here. Portugal, first of course, three point. Uruguay, one. South Korea, one. Ghana, zero. They still have a chance because nothing impressive that I saw from Uruguay or Korea or South Korea. Ghana can beat both of them and qualify. Fingers crossed. Oh. Man, it is what it is. Let's go on social media. Let's. I'm just a little curious about social media. Huh? Let's see what people are saying on social media. Uh, is that Cristiano Ronaldo? See you. Ah. Yeah. Cristiano Ronaldo. It's all about Cristiano Ronaldo. It's going to be about him always. He scored in five World Cup. He broke another record. That is the most important. Nothing else. Nothing else is dominating headlines at the moment. It's about the people who can sell. So statistics being made. All kind of freaking hell. Flipping hell, man. Life is not fair. Joao Felix, nice to see him with a goal. He's going to build his confidence. And uh, Liao, his price just went up, 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 up right now. Look at the Cristiano Ronaldo reaction after Inaki Williams' late chance that he didn't capitalize. If I don't know what happened, but he something happened. He didn't score. That what happened. Yeah, that is exactly what happened. He didn't score. It is what it is, man. It is what it is.